Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Ray Roder and another morning coffee with Admiral. So, today we have a very, very slow morning. To be honest, I'm super late today, chat. I am super, super late. But we're here. We're here, okay? That's what matters. Right. Anyway. Atrimi, hello, hello. <laughs> wow. That's unexpected. <laughs> Good to see you here. You're at work today or you're off? Yeah, at work. Okay. Well, I hope you will have a good and calm day. Uh, I, I guess that's... <laughs> I'd be sleeping otherwise. Well, yeah, technically it's like what? It should be 10 at yours. Is it? Yeah, I, I have a feeling it, it, it should be about 10. I love sleeping in the morning. See, there's a thing about me and sleeping. Uh, like, I like the feeling of sleeping and, and, and stuff. Uh, sometimes I like to stay in bed a little bit longer than, than I probably should. Uh, but then I, I get a massive back pain. Honestly, like, as long as I'm active, as long as I'm walking, doing my job and, and stuff. I, I don't feel any back pain. I will lay in bed for extra hour and I will wake up with such a back pain that I, I just can't stand it. So as much as I like to stay in bed, uh, the longer I stay there, uh, the, the more pain I usually feel. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a pleasure I can't get. Uh, but... Anyway, chat, we have, oh, a head part. By the way, there are some new redeemables that you guys might try. Yes, uh, that's, that's, that's a good idea. Try them now, haha, <laughs> if you got point. Uh, right, uh, 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 what, uh, what was I, ah, yes, first order of business, as always, in the morning, we have, we have, chat, we have. Stream Raiders, yes. There we go, that, that's what I wanted to say. See, I, it's early in the morning, even if I'm reading something, I sometimes can't squeeze the words through my mouth. It's like, ah, it's, it's ridiculous. I, I, I sometimes get stuck like a broken record and, and, and it doesn't work. Right, anyway, we're here. Let's start the first battle, just before I will forget about it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, Mantle Forge. Uh, 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 let me just get my Necromancer. Yeah, Necromancer will be my first unit for today. And the rest is on you, chat. The rest is on you. You know, the feeling happens to me a lot too. So, hang out. So, do you always... Do you also get a back pain after staying in bed for too long? Uh, because I, I, I always thought it's, it's just my thing. Uh, it, like... Oh, hang on. I, I, I failed to update the category. There we go. Fixed now. Oh, it's past midnight. Uh, okay, we, we got bombarded with many things. So, uh, we've updated the contracts. Oh, 
Okay. Reputation gone up. We've got paid for full ports. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Whittier's sawmill is just now at level 4. Perfect. Uh, hang on. I, I forgot to change the screen. Uh, D, up. You're not reminding me. Okay. Uh, one more time. Yes. So, it's... It, well, the time just gone past midnight, which means things got updated. <clears throat> we got paid for full put. Uh, we got paid for... Uh, for the logs and actually that, that was pretty good result we delivered 57 logs for a grand total of three thousand one hundred sixteen dollars uh, so that definitely boosts our finances and they are now standing at seven thousand fifty dollars which is good because in 23 hours and 59 minutes which is basically next day midnight we need to pay up sixteen hundred and forty dollars i can instantly pay five grand just to reduce the current loan and thus uh, the interest payment will eventually go down at some point we still got two thousand in in our pocket i i will leave that uh, because we need to have some money to pay the interest. And we should be alright. Oh, you are on the last phase to build bridge to Bryson. See, Atrimi, you should join this game. Uh, the, the bridge to Bryson is already built. So that's that's the thing. Uh, by the way, uh, is the tank is going the game? No, not yet. Okay. 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 He is with me on this court. Uh, he haven't joined yet. Well. That, that's probably because I'm playing each and every day now. Okay, ALC3 can do reverse. I still got about four hours of in-game time to do uh, some shunting. And I got about five cars to pick up. And uh, there are them two. Them two. And then there is one car at Hillsboro. So I will have to go all the way down there and dig out this car. Shouldn't be too hard of a task. Uh, but it needs to be done. Uh, I'm glad though that uh, Paul Put is paying a little bit more, so I can expect a, at least two grand for for that, because we we just set it off and we haven't got paid for for these cars yet. It's only what we put in the storage that that we get paid for. Oh, you got tier 2 contracts. Uh, I, I actually upgraded some contracts to tier 5. Uh, and I, I'm not sure if I'm not going to regret that decision, honestly. Because it, it's a lot to, to take. It is a lot to deal with tier 5 contracts. Uh, this industry is pretty much constantly eating into resources. 
while on like tier 3 I think they work only during the day and at night they, they don't even consume any any stuff. So now it will be a little bit more difficult. How's, how's the fuel situation? Okay. Oh, that new AI. Trying to pull out the perfect stop. Pretty much have just enough space on this siding. Go forward 15. Rainbow Tash. Ah, thank you very much. Oh, now I look very classy. wagons straight on the interchange. In fact, I can connect them with, with those cars and push everything together. Fancy task just got punks here. Yes, precisely. Yes. <laughs> precisely, precisely, precisely. That's what it is. LGBT. switch looks like I did it just in time no, what else oh okay now you are crying about this one. Oh yeah because I forgot to send the train on this track rather than on this track not much of it
Avajak oli... There we go. Tank is just connected. Although I don't think there is too much work for him with number one. Number two is gonna wait at Bryson. So his timing is a bit bad today. <laughs> I think I refueled your locomotive. Uh, there's not much to do at the moment. But that will change. This way, that lined up correctly, and that not lined up correctly. Now I need to pick up those two cars and place them on.
No socks hit. Hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you all have a great time today. I'm I'm not if you if you can actually hear me. Because I'm getting a notification from Twitch that they are just playing ad for, for some people. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's a weird system, but at least I know when, when I can catch up and, and not produce any content. <laughs> because no one is watching. Anyway, if you are actually seeing this, then hello, hello. <laughs> seems familiar okay what would you describe it as That's not quite correct. Although, not far away. Not far away from Finland. Well, not, not very far away. Uh, but, yeah. It, not quite there. Not quite there. Ah, see. Uh, well, I originally come from Poland, but I currently live in the UK. So, yeah, kind of similar side of Europe, uh, but not quite near Finland. Well, not that close to Finland. It isn't that far. It's much closer than UK. Yes, it, it is close -ish, yes. Right, so, uh, where do I start? Uh, so, Railroader, as you can see, yes, it is a game about Railroad. Your task is to manage and run a Railroad, uh, which is inspired on North Carolina during transitional period. So, you will have some steam locomotives and you will have some early diesel locomotives that you need to buy. Uh, so basically, your task is to run operations along this line. Uh, the map is growing with, with your railway. So at the beginning, you get access to Whittier and Ila, and, and that's pretty much the stretch of tracks that you have. Uh, you also get two locomotives, a couple of rail cars, and you need to sign contracts with local businesses and deliver passengers and operate your railway. You can drive the trains yourself. You can ask AI to drive the trains 
or you can invite other players to drive the trains because it's all in multiplayer for your deliveries and all well pretty much for every transport action you make money and then you invest that money to get new rolling stock new locomotives or buy additional uh, trucks and and basically connect additional towns and and that's how the game goes uh, basically you set your own goal because it's a massive uh, well i wouldn't call it sandbox because you you still need to deal with Uh, you still need to deal with some sort of progression unless you start the game in a sandbox mode where you have everything unlocked and, and you just run trains but that's kind of boring uh, it's it's better to have that sense of progression and and that meaning to, to every single action you take so the game can happen in real time uh, you obviously have your uh, company management uh, tab and, and you can see your company statistics you can check things by location and sign contracts with different industries uh, you can check different milestones or things that you can unlock and that's where you control how long your line is and it can be very very long I, I think the entire line is about 60 miles long so that's a lot of trucks especially for uh, steam trains uh, you can obviously manage your finances, take loans, pay loans, and, and do stuff like that. You can manage your equipment, uh, which is the stuff that your railway actually owns. You can manage your employees, which is basically all the players that join the game. You can give them different tasks and functions within your company. You can organize people into crews. And then you can change some settings like wait for or compress time, uh, decide what is the time compression that the game uses. So if you have very little work on your railway, uh, you may use uh, higher time compressions when you have a lot of work compared to number of employees. You might want to uh, stretch it out uh, and, and use one to one ratio, which means basically each second in the game is one second in real life. Uh, etc you can always go to sleep and, and skip time until a certain point uh, you can also adjust some features for uh, uh, for ai and, and, and stuff and, and that's pretty much it the rest well is is just experiments and learning and some good fun Uh, hang on, what was I? Yes, I flat hands. And you are going forward. Scene. All the way to the interchange. And the interchange is Perfect. Right, and this is set against, so the train will stop. You don't have patience to play games like this. Ooh, so what kind of games do you like to play? Okay, number two at Bryson. Coming on with you. Passenger. Load all the cars. Well, I have to say, War Thunder is a fine choice. Very grindy. Uh, you need to put a lot of effort into the game to achieve something and, and unlock all those fancy tanks, planes, and ships. 
but when you get that stuff and, and when you learn and master your own equipment, it, it's really enjoyable, yeah. Especially when you play in like realistic mode or... Well, simulation is not for me, to be honest. Uh, at least in War Thunder, it, it's too hardcore, but... Uh, yeah, realistic for tanks is, is really, really nice mode. Enlisted Heroes of the Storm. I, I actually never played Enlisted. Uh, Heroes of the Storm, never never heard of it, to be honest. Uh, random other titles, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I tend to play those sometimes. Uh, for example, like, Escape from Tarkov is, is my dirty pleasure from time to time. I, I like to jump in, do a raid or two, and get angry at the game and, and turn it off. <laughs> Uh, right, let's have a look at, at this train. What what is he doing? Why why are you stop? Oh, uh, I, I I forgot. Yes, I, I did this silly thing. I did this silly thing, and I left handbrakes on. No stops hit. Thank you very much for the follow. Ooh. I, I I think I need to adjust the number of emails. I, Totally appropriate amount of email. Okay, uh, if you say so. I think there used to be more because I accidentally put the same module in Stream Elements twice, and one of them was set for like 400, so pretty much entire screen was covered for, with emails uh, when, when people subscribed or or followed. I, I, I really had to adjust that. It is a party. It is. It is. Right, chat. The time has come. The first battle of the day. We have six units. I'm. I I, I don't know what to say, chat. Like, I I know you can do better than that. Six units. Come on. I I know it's early in the morning and it's Monday. So that's probably not ideal time to play battles. But I'm quite sure. That we could do better. Well, our tiny army will have a very difficult task right now. We need to destroy that Mega PD at level 20, and we will be attacked by multiple other monsters. Yeah, this is gonna be very, very difficult battle. I, I, I don't see how we are supposed to win this. Well, we tried. We tried. Oh no, my, my legendary necromancer just died. F and chat, F and chat. Well, it's early in the morning. And this sometimes happens. But, you know, chat. We, we need to give ourselves another chance. We, we can't just resign. After a single trip, is it? It's... It, it, it's not going to happen. Right. One more time, everyone. One more time. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is a mini game that I play with my viewers. So as a viewer, you can join this battle. Uh, by following the link that was just posted by Captain TV Bot. Uh, you log in onto website as a viewer. 
and then you can select me as a captain and join this battle and you will have some units available and depending on how long you play stream raiders uh, you might have very limited number of those units but you can place them in battle every few minutes or, or something and this way uh, all the viewers are building an army and once every 30 minutes i can start the battle and obviously the more units you place the better chances are that we can defeat the monsters and when we defeat the monsters on on this map and then we get some reward uh, in most cases those rewards will include some scrolls that will let you upgrade or unlock new units or change the skins of of your current units and and that's how we play and basically that that's the goal of, of the game it's something to distract ourselves every few minutes uh, while we are uh, playing something else or, or doing something else during the stream so it's it's just a tiny distraction to, to keep everyone engaged in, into the uh, into the fun yes and it, it gives you another way to, to interact with the streamer except the chat because not not all the people want to chat uh, some people just want to watch the stream and interact in many other ways so that's what I'm trying to introduce during my streams. Right. Anyway, uh, that's enough of this. I will leave uh, the battle preparation to you, chat. Uh, there's nothing else I can do at this moment. But I can do a lot in here. Well, I, I probably could do a lot in here, but now I need to find where my train is. Okay. And my train is here. We'll apply the handbrake. Woohoo! That's very good. That's very good. Keep placing units. And it will help us win this battle. Okay, uh, what do we have? Uh, we got this full foot. This is still unloading. Oh, first car is actually already unloaded. Perfect. That switch is thrown. That switch is thrown. forward that is set forward uh, I, I really need to get that CTC going we don't have that much traffic on the line Okay, so now we are waiting for number three. Uh, that's a bit too far. Ah, uh, yeah. I placed that QZ very far away. when the train was long enough now when there is pretty much no train might as well place the PC somewhere here
thing. Yeah, that, that, that correctly. There we go, now we just need to pick up the last wagon. The very last wagon. And then we can jump to another day. Hopefully things will get a bit busier. Tankist, how is it going at Connelly Creek? I'm uh, put some three wagons to L3 back. Oh, yes, I see. Uh, he stay at track uh, two, but he need a uh, track three. Action. Okay. Is there anything more that we need to move? So many crossings. So many crossings, chat. What's going on? Okay, so tank is, is going to go around this thing, I believe. Is it? Oh no, he's putting that on L3, so that, that's here. Uh, very good, very good. Uh, we got this one going so mill. All these that are currently ready to be placed on L1, L2, and L3. Uh, speaking of Connolly Creek, uh, uh, stuff like that. Uh, Witcher Sawmill. So this is currently at 57 logs in storage. It consumes about 21 cars a day. That's not too bad. 
We, we can actually do 21 cars. That should be easy. Okay, so this one will unload quite quickly. <laughs> Very good. Okay, this one is still going. Go. You have to. Uh, you have to lie to AI a little bit about your destination in order to get AI to actually do something. In here. Uh, because CTC decided to close uh, this entire station just because I got direction for for the side truck, which is not helping. Okay, can reduce the handbrake. There we go. That looks like there's gonna be an ad in about 45 seconds. According to what Twitch is telling me. go 10 seconds until the ad
Well, welcome back everyone. To be honest, when it comes to ads, I'm, I'm just experimenting with that feature. Uh, whether the ads are going to stay or not, it, it depends. Uh, but for now, I like the controls that Twitch has, uh, which basically tells me when the ads are about to play and when they are playing so i can somewhat prepare the flow of of the stream and and adjust it uh, so that basically you are not missing anything and the ads can can play uh, there still needs to be a bit of adjustments uh, but yeah it it doesn't work that bad it doesn't work that bad at least so far right anyway uh, we've just extracted that one car that we need now i just need to get it to Uh, to the interchange. And after I park it there, uh, we can skip time to, uh, to the servicing. Uh, let's see what Tankis is doing. Uh, he is probably not moving. Is he? Oh no, no. He, he is actually moving. That's good. And... Oh, he's about to extract this car. And I believe he will be trying to take whatever there is at Whittier. Uh, not, not this one. Yeah, them ones. We probably might want to load them as soon as possible. Meantime, I am at Dillsboro. Yard reverse five. I have to admit that well I was hoping that ARC3 will will be just fine uh, for shunting in this area it is using a little bit too much resources yeah it, it's it's actually impressive how much resources those locomotives use. Uh, I, I got four of them at the moment. It's all steam locomotives. And, uh, and I have to say that, yeah, th th they seem to be using a lot of resources. Uh, 
Uh, water is not that much of a problem. Uh, because you can get water almost everywhere. Uh, but coal is a huge issue. I, I pretty much used half of the reserves uh, of coal for this locomotive. And I literally just arrived into this area. So I have to say that's a lot. That is a lot. But on the other hand, I, I still need to build uh, yard and engine servicing here at Dillsboro. So the track layout will change. And maybe with that, uh, I, I think there's going to be coal loader somewhere at Dillsboro. So that makes it way closer than Whittier. And we really need that. Is going all the way to it here to resupply and then go back to Dillsboro and Silva just to find out that you've just used like 20% of all fuel is, is not really good. That is definitely not good. Prepared. Now I need to fly through this entire section and reverse back onto this truck. And then I need to take the locomotive out because I don't want it to be on the interchange when it's serviced. Because all the cars that will spawn will probably obstruct this area. is happening at the moment let's have a look what his tank is doing he is ah he's picking up those cars that's very good go i can see no succeed i just placed another brave warrior that's good chat you have four and a half minutes to prepare for this 
difficult battle. Interchange, perfect. Okay, no problem. There's no need to connect them all together because things will move around. Welcome back. Beautiful. Right. Uh, so the work on interchange is completed and there is nothing else to do on my end. There is, however, some work for Tankist. And hopefully he is going to be able to finish that as soon as possible. And while he is working on it, chat, I'm going to take a very quick break and I'll be back with you soon. In the meantime, uh, let's focus on, on what Tank is doing. So you will be observing his operations. Uh, it is not me operating this locomotive this time. It is another player, just in case someone was wondering. Oh, yeah. And, and before I go, I will also sort out Stream Raiders for you. Hang on. So uh, there is 29 units, much better, much better chat. This is this is something I wanted to see. I will place a defensive spell so that our units can. Oh, someone managed to squeeze in last second unit. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Anyone else wants to squeeze in last second unit? 
just before I press start battle. No one, no one. Okay, so the battle is ready. Let's do it. Chat, I, I'm sure this time we can win this. Someone had swift flying rope down uh, up there, and that was killing a lot of monsters. Is it? We're definitely doing better than last time. Thanks to the medics, we got much smaller losses. Okay. Beautiful. Chat. That is something I wanted to see right at the beginning. This was wonderful, chat. That was wonderful. Right. Let's keep up the momentum and let's go to another battle. There we go. Let me just place a... Hmm. You know what? Chat, let, let's do a massive vampire army. I'm calling in all the vampires. All the vampires join me. If you don't have vampire, just place your... Just place any other unit. But I need as many vampires as we can. Yeah? So we can build that self-supporting army uh, because each time one of the vampires scores a hit all the vampires nearby get uh, get healed so basically it's a self-healing army if you can get the numbers so let's do it chat let's do it in the meantime while you are building the army Let's observe Tankist. He's currently trying to sort out those uh, skeleton cars. So he needs to place those four onto the siding and extract them six, seven cars. Oh, there, there's eight. So he needs to take those eight cars and distribute them along Connelly Creek uh, because they need to they need to be loaded. And the loaded cars needs to be placed there so they can be unloaded into the sawmill. And hopefully at the end of the day, we're gonna see a large amount of money flowing onto our accounts. Because apparently those logs are paying a lot of money. And that's what we need. We need that money. Anyway, uh, chat. I'm gonna leave you with uh, with Tankist and, and his operation for about five minutes, uh, maybe slightly longer, and then hopefully we will be ready to advance to the next day.
God, the microphone wasn't back. I, I, uh, I, I, I really love myself again. Cyber Synapse, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I, I came back from AFK and I forgot to re enable microphone because hey, I, I, it's, it's early in the morning, okay? Don't blame me. Anyway, uh, yes, I, I extended my be right back screen a little bit longer because as soon as I finished making myself a coffee and I came back uh, to, to the PC to, to start making content again, I noticed that Twitch is uh, playing an app, uh, so I decided to, to extend that period so you, you guys won't lose any, any content. Uh, anyway, uh, it goes well, it goes well on, on this tiny railroad, as you can see, well, Tankist is now placing last few wagons where they need to be, and we can advance to the next uh, servicing time. Uh, so that should take about, I don't know, 10-15 minutes probably, he's moving almost everything to L2 if I'm correct. Oh, okay, uh, two of the cars are going to L1. And then the rest are going to L2. Uh, so that's not too far away from each other. Uh, we should be done in about 10 minutes. And then I will just advance the time to uh, servicing time. Uh, so we will be able to finally see some busier period of, on the railway. Uh, okay, you ordered some more truck. Okay, okay. To be honest, uh, are you on my Discord? That, that is the question. If, if you are on my Discord, I would love to see your model. Uh, I believe... Uh, hang on, let, let me just check if I got... Uh, uh, um, hmm. I, I don't seem to have... a specific channel for that. Hang on, do I have general train chat? Yes, there is general train chat. Uh, you can share your models there, if, if you want to share that with, uh, with everyone. Uh, I've seen some people are uh, sharing some models, mostly on general chat, but yeah, uh, let's let's make a general trains chat, a place where you can share your uh, models on my Discord, at least for now. Uh, if, if the topic will be popular enough among uh, people on my Discord, and, and they will be happy to, to share their, uh, their tiny models and, and layouts, uh, then I might create a separate section for you guys because 
I would love to see what you guys came up, uh, came up with. Uh, th this is really amazing hobby. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have space myself, so I, I can only do virtual ones on, on the screen of my computer at the moment. Uh, but yes, I, I, I will be really happy to, to see your layout if, if you want to share it. Right, uh, we got. There we go. First two wagons are are heading into the siding. That's good. Oh yeah. Also, uh, there is one more thing. Yeah. There is one more thing that. That I want to test. Yeah. Hang on. Uh, let me just the. I will redeem that. Okay, and, and let's see your items. Ah, so I can do that. Okay. Ah, and now I can just aim it. I see, so that's how it works. But, but does it actually work? Hang on, I, I don't think this works. I know why it didn't work. There we go. Now it worked. <laughs> now it worked. Chat. Yes. Uh, now you can throw a tomato at me if, if, if you find the stream to be not fun. Uh, you can also throw... Oh, oh no, you can also get a doggy to, to come in. Oh, I see, I see. That that that's not nice. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, very not nice one, but yeah, it, basically those are two redeems that you can get for points. There are more that you can get. Uh, from from the same extension it's below the stream it's called viewer attack uh, but normally those redeemables cost you uh, bits uh, so those two are the ones that I enabled for free if you use channel points uh, so basically how it works uh, you just use channel points uh, you get added uh, let's say tomato or a doggy uh, into your inventory obviously it, it gives you only one piece of those and then when you use that extension on the extension there will be a little depiction of the player where you can place your redeemable so you can either throw a tomato at me if, if you don't like the stream or you can send that very bad doggo to, uh, to, to do a bad stuff to my stream and 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 yeah basically th those are two redeemables that that you can use at the moment uh, i might add something else uh, for example egg uh, there is also one that 
allows you to uh, to throw an egg at me or or a snowball uh, or or things like that. So I I'm gonna think about it. But for now, yes, those are three ones that that you can redeem for free uh, using channel points only. Well, you can also get them for bits, but uh, yeah, that that's that's the extension I have. I'm, I'm afraid. You're saving for something else. Oh, uh, you. I I don't know what you are saving for, but uh, okay. I, I, I'm not sure if I want to know what you are saving for. Anyway, uh, right. Let's let's get back to the game. Where, where's Tankis now? Oh, hang on. Where, where did he go with his strength? Oh, he's already at, at the top of the Connelly Creek. Oh, and, and now I got normal Tash again. Thanks to Tankis. And I got Dark Shades. Oh, that's, that's stylish. Okay, uh, Tankist, as soon as you finish with this cut, I will be advancing time to uh, 4am, 5am. Mm. Well, you uh, will be some longer here, yep. Yeah, 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 uh, but I will be using time compression to, to get the interchange service. Uh, okay. So I'm, I'm I'm just waiting for you to finish. So uh, well, uh, 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 placing those cars on on this siding. There we go. Chat, and the reason why I'm waiting for tankers to fully stop. is so that the logs will actually start loading. Uh, if if he would be still moving, the logs wouldn't be loading. And obviously that whole operation uh, would be going to waste. We still don't have any any spare logs on, on, on this siding, so uh, it, it will take a longer time to, to load those cars. As you can see, they are not loading particularly quickly but it is what it is right anyway chat we can now sleep and there we go see now everything is loaded almost instantly <laughs> And Silva Interchange received only 26 cars, so that's that's not too much. That, that's not too much. And today's load is rather small. Okay. Um. We got a lot of shunting around Silva. A few cars for Whittier Sawmill. Okay, that that's gonna be a bit of a shunting. Right, first things first. I need to go around this whole contraption. Orders road forward fifteen. You send it to Vitter Signal, yes? Uh, 
Uh, what? I uh, see who you ch turn. Uh, I mod at uh, number one. Oh, oh no, that's that's by accident. Uh, turn it off. Turn it off. Cancel it. I, uh, I, I just realized I, I was switched to your locomotive while I was trying to move I mean, mine. Uh, you can get a uh, turn on uh, wrong train. Yeah. Anyway, the cars are finally equipped that you just set. They are already loaded. So you might as well take them back. Right, uh, chat. Now I need to sort out this mess uh, because green cars are going to Bryson. Uh, this one is going to Ela. Uh, Holyfield and Whittier. That 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 needs to stop at Whittier. Uh, Silver stuff will be sorted here. Slay and Mika is also going to Whittier because that is Wilmot. So effectively, as you can see, Wilmot is much closer to Whittier than it is from the interchange. And I'd rather have tankies do four miles or three and a half miles uh, to get that sorted uh, than me do eight miles and, and get that sorted just, just to put one car. Because that's literally what it is. It's literally just one car. Okay, so I'm gonna start off from separating Dillsboro Freight House and Locust and Pin, and I will put them on onto this truck. Uh, Ela Farm Supply is gonna join uh, this stuff, and then I will push those wagons onto the middle truck, reverse, push them two into that, and connect it to number ten. Sam Houston, thank you very much for follow. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Also, chat, uh, the battle is about to begin. Uh, so before we do that, let me just save some time for myself. I will tell ARC3 to start reversing towards those cars. And while this is happening, We got this amazing battle. Chat, 61 allies. I can see people are waking up finally. Okay. Finally. The first battle was a slight mistake. Yes, we, we had only six units. People were clearly not ready to, to build an army. But starting from the second and third battle, we, we are keeping a good momentum. And I, I can see some nice progress. Uh, so, let's play Skilling Field. I can actually cut pretty much entire uh, blob on this side. Uh, there are a few desperate soldiers who decided to uh, go their own way. It, it's not a bad army, actually. They have a healer. Uh, they have a tank and they have rogue. Yeah, th they might have a chance to attack this tiny uh, group of monsters and, and defeat it. We also got a solo archer from Shiraizen. Uh, I, I hope he will be fine uh, dealing with those skeleton warriors. They, they seem to be really, really tough. Uh, but we might, we might make it and, and save it. Uh, I wonder if that's going to happen. Anyway, without any further ado, let the battle commence. I can see that trolls are doing surprisingly well against my army. But yeah, guys, guys, you did it, you did it. Wow, we got a flag bearer level 30. Well, that is something.
cat, we did it, we did it. We suffered heavy losses on that troll army was really hard to beat, but we made it, we made it. Congratulations to everyone. A seafood sandwich and uh, DZ lad uh, get 50 gold coins on top of standard 5 that everyone gets. And I get only 10 gold coins. See, your rewards are better than mine. Right. Everyone, we have three battles to go today. And that's precisely how much time we've got. So let's do it. Let's do it. Glitch speedrun. Hmm. All right, everyone. I shall be placing a musketeer. And he's gonna go right into the corner. There we go. And then the rest is on you, chat. The rest is on you. Build your massive army. I want to see that beautiful blob or crowd that will attack those monsters and hopefully destroy them. In the meantime, Let's hop back into Rayroda. We got some work to do. So far it is a good day. That is something I'm glad to hear. Go. Nice and steady. It's hard to see anything. It would be nice if developers would introduce something like a flashlight or tiny light that goes around the cursor if you are in third person camera at night. So I, I could eventually hover the cursor over some area and it would light it up a little bit. Uh, that, that would probably be a feature. A very good feature. Right, so uh, apparently Appalachian Hardwoods, uh, these uh, those two wagons have handbrakes on. Which is pretty good stuff. Uh, right, where do I want things to go? Uh, I'm gone. No. He love farm. Farm supply needs go in a different place uh, I need to place this there this game has been yes I, I agree uh, to be honest I'm, I'm kind of surprised how, how addictive this game is it is simple in, in many aspects it is overly simplified uh, when it comes to simulation well there is something, uh, some more to do. Uh, when it comes to driving trains, there is a lot more to do. Uh, but the general concept is really interesting, addictive, and very satisfying when you do things right. And like, I can't stop playing Railroader, honestly. Uh, when it comes to des design, it, it's like, it's exactly what what we needed on the market. And with few elements improved, this could grow into a, a really amazing game. I, I have to admit that. We got multiplayer. We got basically that, that sense of purpose. Uh, so you constantly build something and, and you make it grow. Uh, so you feel like your input is is making a difference in the game and, and that's the most important part. It is a hard work, uh, but every time you achieve something, you, you feel like you want more. And, and this is amazing in this game. You, you just want to progress to another day to see what's going to happen. 
even though you know that the next day is going to be exactly the same as the previous one. So you're going to sort things out. You're going to deliver them where they need to be. You're going to collect uh, empty or full wagons and you're going to bring everything back to interchange. And that's pretty much the flow of each and every day. But at the same time, it is so rewarding to do it. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Uh, by the way, chat, uh, I am running this game in multiplayer so everyone can join me. Uh, all you have to do is navigate to my Discord, uh, check out the server details that are pinned in a post on Railroad Section. Join me on voice channel. And then you will be assigned to your own task. And you can join me in the game during each session because that is fully multiplayer session okay will you stop already oh. waiting for ai to stop is sometimes really disturbing but at the same time, it's early in the morning and I know if I would be driving this myself, uh, I would probably end up damaging something. As I did before. <laughs> right, uh, where, where, where's, uh, where's the... S23 for Whittier. Uh, uh, uh. Is that Switcher? That is Switcher. Uh, Tankist, I am actually thinking about this, but I first need P18 Pacific for uh, passenger train. Pacific? P43, yeah. yes. No, not P43. I, I'm not going that far. Uh, P18. Uh, you mean H H P18, yes? Yeah, P18 Pacific for uh, for passenger train. I, I don't need okay. anything stronger, uh, but I want a locomotive with uh, headlight on, on the tender. That's the only reason why I'm buying this. Yeah, uh, that but can, um, but it's not going to happen problem. today uh, because I got interest to pay on the loan. And we don't really have money. Uh, so I'm also trying to repay the loan at the moment so uh, it will probably take up at least two days in game before we can invest into new the uh, rolling stock so for now we have to do with what we got also uh, don't forget to refuel Thousand gallons for now, uh, not for good. Okay, yeah, I, I hope you won't get stranded again. Like, you get stranded literally every single time. Uh, speaking of water, ARC3 is also at 1661, so I, I probably won't have enough to fully finish everything. And I will have to dive into Dillsboro to get some water. Uh, also, chat, uh, the ads will start soon, uh, so I'm gonna shut up and I'll let you watch them. And I'll catch you right after the ad break.
Right, are we back? I, I hope so. <laughs> right, uh, have I done any call work so far? No, uh, I, I actually haven't done any call work. Uh, where is the coal mine? Uh, I, I think it's somewhere in Alarka, is it? I, I, I think that that will be... No. Or, no, Walker is... Walker is uh, wood production, is it? Um, but I have no clue where is uh, where is the coal mine because I I don't have access to anything past Bryson. I still need to do. Uh, phase three of uh, Bryson Bridge, uh, but I don't want to order that just yet. Because it's gonna cost me fifteen hundred dollars, and I got only twenty three hundred in the bank, with fifteen hundred uh, to be paid in nineteen hours. Because I need to pay interest on on the loan uh, that I eventually took. So I'm trying to like get the loan sorted first. So I don't have to pay that massive interest. And when that's done, I will be investing in in growth. Uh, so the first plans are to finish off Bryson Bridge and open Alarka Junction. Uh, because I think that's, that's where it actually leads me. And I'm not sure if, if, if there is that coal stuff there, then I will start doing coal stuff. Uh, but I don't have hoppers. And I also need to build uh, engine servicing at Dillsboro. Because I need calling tower there. And I desperately need it. Because refueling number 3 at Whittier is very ineffective. Although for now it works. Because I still need number 3 at Whittier. At least once a day. To help number 10 drag everything from from the entire line to, to the interchange uh, but it still uses a lot of coal and i would like to get one strong locomotive that can handle it alone and get number three serviced locally at dillsboro and act as a shunter because for shunting work number three is perfect it's the weakest locomotive in the game uh, but it does the job And that's what it matters. Right, I need to cut those. I need to... I'm going, where is that handbrake? Uh, release the handbrake. Where is that handbrake? Release, perfect. Okay. Road forward 15. So that's going to be silver stuff, and it's going to go there. Yeah, I, I'm actually glad they increased pay, uh, the payout for Pulpwood, uh, because it was ridiculous previously. It takes so much more to deliver full port and at the same time it it, it pays so so little uh, speaking of full port 
Yeah, I, I still need to finish unloading that. And then I can connect it with the rest of the train. And get it delivered to Whittier. Okay, okay, that actually can work. That can actually work. There's gonna be one extra movement that I need to do, but... You decided to focus only on... Oh, so you are losing out a lot. Uh, speaking of passenger, uh, thanks for reminding me. I need to get number two going. I am not giving up on passengers, I, I can tell you that one thing, because getting passengers from one end of the line to the other pays a lot. If I can get passengers from here and I got some passengers to Silva Depot, uh, can I actually check? Look, I got 23 passengers for, uh, for Silva Depot and I'm at Bryson, yes? Uh, in this car, I got 18 passengers for Silva Depot. And here I got 13. So that's uh, nearly 50 passengers. Is it? That, that's over 50 passengers uh, that are going to Silva Depot. Okay? That's gonna pay me like $250. And I don't have observation car. So it's without any bonus. That's the cheapest car in the game. And I can guarantee you that if this train makes it to Silva Depot, I'm gonna get like $250 payout. And on top of that, everywhere else I will get anywhere from like zero to like $60, depending on how many passengers I will transport along the way. Uh, but going through each and every station is actually paying a lot. So that can be another grand or two a day from several passenger runs. And literally all you have to do is to set it road forward 30 or 35 or even 45 if you want. Make sure that all the junctions are set. Teleport to your next destination. Make sure there is a fusee. And that the train can go through the station one way or another. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Job is a good one. In, in 10 minutes I will get payout from Ila. And in the meantime, I can focus on another work. Oh, I'm gone. Uh, I messed up a little bit. Uh, orders road forward. Five. Okay, let's let's keep it up. Number three, you can select locomotives from the map, by the way, if you press on, on their icon, uh, just in case you didn't know. Yard reverse five, and we can now connect this cut, and that's the silver start, so, uh, well, silver stuff sorted out. All I need to do is to take out the Slayer Mika, attaches to the end of this train. 
pull out everything starting from Holyfield, connected to Ela's stuff. Is it? Oh no, sorry. I I need to first push things forward. And uh, just to make sure that this Oh, I see. That's that Appalachian hardwoods. Standard oil. I, I could sort it better, but do I want to sort it better? Of course I don't. Right. Uh, now one of the hardest parts is to find the glass hand. Okay. Is it connected? The last car is secured. And Slay and Mika is now taken out. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, while uh, while losing reputation on passenger is not causing you any issues. Uh, you really want to have it as high as possible because then you get those reputation effects so repair speed bonus which adds 50% to repair speed so it's basically same as us the uh, same as you would have one and a half uh, person uh, hired in in each depot which actually helps uh, equipment discount 10% on on the equipment is, is really a lot uh, phase discount, 25% on, on phases is, is quite a lot. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually get overall reputation uh, high enough to get equipment discount to 25%. I, I think I'm maxed out on, on everything. Uh, but if your passenger network service goes down to 0% because you are not servicing them, then basically your overall reputation will go down to like, what, 80% or something? And you won't get those bonuses. So I'm not sure if it's worth to, to lose out on that. I'm really not sure. Okay, yard reverse five. Low. Uh, tank He's probably bringing those. Yeah, it has a lot of logs. That's perfect. Uh, there's those empty skeleton cars. And hopefully by then I will be able to bring another train for him. progressing much quicker than I can work. Okay, now, how do I want to do this? Uh, 
I will actually make one additional jump maneuver. Rolls forward 15. Yeah, I, I will do one additional one uh, just so that Tankist will have it easier at with here. Well, slightly easier. This thing forward. Reverse the train back here. Connect this one first. Go back and then push everything together. And then I can get this train connected to number 10 and send it all into Witcher. And then I will go get some water. Oh no, I can't send it straight to Wikia. Ah, you see, I, I forgot about that. There's few more cars that are going at the end of the train. Okay, AI just overused brakes, as always. There we go, we got five dollars for five pairs from Ela. So I can now teleport to it here. Okay, that is close. I can place a few Z there. Double check the switches. That is set as it should be. Go to Ela. Okay, all the passengers are now loaded. I just delete that. And passenger train is sorted. That's all the work you need to put to get it going. Those two cars are also connected. The glad hands are not connected as it should. There we go. 
also I need to release on brakes. Now yard reverse ten. I just need to push those wagons away from, from this siding. Ideally far enough so that I can fit four cars so I might need to see somewhere there in fact I can do road reverse from the 15 it's pretty much the same order if you place a PC Yo, chat, the battle is now ready to begin. So let's focus on that. Chat, look at this crowd. Oh my days. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I will give haste to those units. And let's see how well they will do with this uh, little bot. Let the battle commence. Look at this. All the units that decided to go through the buffing area are now really rushing forward. Beautiful. Look at this. That was swift. Th that was really quick, chat. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I can upgrade my fairy. There we go. And I, I think that's all the units I, I can upgrade. Perfect. Right, let's begin another battle. Now we will be facing a random streamer monster. Okay, I shall place some powerful unit. Hmm. You know what? I, I, I can't remember when was the last time I used. Hmm. Should I use Shinobi? No, Centurion. Yes, I will use Centurion. Let's go from here. This time I will be tanking. And the rest is on you, chat. The rest is on you. Now, back to Rayroader. Okay, so these cars are spotted here for now. We will decouple. Oh, where's the handbrake? Oh, th this is rolling. That, that shouldn't be rolling. There we go. That, that needs to be stopped with a handbrake. Can't see the handbrake. There it is. Okay. We need two handbrakes for that. Right. Now, road forward 15. I need to get out of the way. So, if you are wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to get Appalachian Hardwoods all together. Because it's going to help me a lot. Yeah, it, it's going to help me a lot when I finally get to Bryce. go now we got 21 dollars for only 12 pairs that's that's pretty good result okay unbreaks are light so 
put forward 15. Okay. Now there's gonna be a little bit more work in here. Uh, because this junction, this junction. Uh, Tankist, by any chance are you going to uh, Connolly Creek right now? I for now uh, putting um, wagons to 7 mil. Lo loaded uh, wagons to 7 mil. And uh, okay. I think after go, I after go to water pump to buy water. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna be sending passenger train through with you. Okay. Alright chat, the route is set. Let's just double check. We got passengers for Bryson only. So we can delete that. We can now teleport to Wilmot. Okay, where's where's Wilmot now? I lost Wilmot! There it is. Alright, and at Wilmot you just place PZ as close to the switch as possible. That's pretty much it. And we can go back to the interchange. I don't expect to make any money out of Wilmot. There's almost never any passengers. But in case I'm lucky, I, I might actually be able to load something. Well, the, pr the problem with Wilmot is that there are many passengers that are going out of Wilmot and not too many passengers that are going into Wilmot. Uh, so you need some extra space in your train, which I'm obviously short of. Uh, there we go everyone uh, another ad will start in about a minute according to what twitch is saying me I'm still not sure if it's better to have adverts once every 30 minutes or perhaps would it be better to have them once every hour okay, uh, but have them for longer period of time. I, I'm not really sure if uh, what would be better. MRL0, hello, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you will have a great time today. Uh, my apologies, I will go silent for about one minute and a half uh, in just 10 seconds because uh, according to Twitch, uh, well, Twitch is going to be playing ads for everyone, so uh, yeah, uh, my apologies if I will go quiet.
All right, welcome back, everyone. Right, so uh, we continue assembling this freight train. In just a second, I will have entire Bryce and stuff. There's only four cars this time. There we go. Roll forward 15. Now I need to go around this entire cut. And push it towards Bryson stuff. And then push everything towards number 10. That is waiting at Silver Paperboard. Did the game crash again? Hello, hello, tankies. Oh, I, I guess he had to finish. Uh, let's see where he finished. I see. Forward, forward. Uh, he's always using 45. Okay, so that is spotted. Uh, let me just make sure that. There's a handbrake. Perhaps at least two. Okay, so sawmill is now supplied with something. And then I, I think he was planning to, yeah, he was planning to get some water and coal. Uh, so let me just put a few Z there. I'll get that sorted in a moment. Right. Now I will be dealing with more locomotives than I want to. Oh, hang on. Orders reverse. I don't need to go that far. And yet I still went that far. Okay. So now I need to pretty much put all that stuff together. And so while this is happening... Can teleport to number one. Make sure it is refueled. Uh, so I will select this one. Go into manual. Plenty of coal in here, so I'm not worried. Okay. Let's quickly get it to water column. Perfect stop. Number three is looking at another train, so let me just order oh, yard reverse five. 
Uh, Emerald Zero, yes, there is a way. I am currently running open sessions, so everyone who wants to join me, you can do that. All you have to do is to navigate to my Discord server. The link should be under the player on Twitch. Uh, so there should be a link session section and, and there is my Discord and that is my Discord server. You have to join that. Then you have to navigate to Rayroader text channel. And in the pinned post, uh, there is information about the server. Uh, I also require people to be on the voice channel so we can communicate with each other. Uh, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to, but you need to be present on the voice channel. Because sometimes I will say something and I will be muted on stream. And I need you to hear that. Okay. Uh, ideally, yes, uh, as long as you are not transmitting any music and you are not shouting and yelling, I, ideally I would like you to also take part in the conversation if you want. Uh, but it's not required. Perfect. Uh, hang on. Yard reverse five. Okay. Yeah. And, and now this thing is there. And orders are row reverse fifteen. Perfect. So I will get that sorted for tankist. One car for L2, uh, three cars for L1. Wow, this one is already empty. <laughs> there we go, and let's let's have a look at number three. Okay, it is now collect connected to that slay Mika, which is exactly what I want. Okay. This is ready. Is it? Uh, hang on. I need to select this one. The last two cars have on brakes. See, I almost forgot about that. Let's release orders. Yard reverse 20. It's not going to go 20 because we will first get onto these cars. But in that case, I am within about 10 car lengths, so I might as well connect. go and now there's one handbrake and there's another one road reverse 15 okay and this one has to go there and connect to number 10 and that's gonna be going to Bryson at some point at least Okay, and then I need to gather those uh, 10 wagons, attach them to the end of the train, and number 10 can go away, finally. Emerald uh, Zero, on Railroader channel, there is a pinned post, uh, you can view them, 
uh, hang on uh, let me just give you exact information yes there is a pin on top if you press it there is only one pinned post and that's how you can find the session uh, but yes i would also like you to join a voice channel uh, with me uh, so then we can actually chat using voice communication uh, but the details of the server including passwords is pinned into railroaders text chat Welcome to the server. Hi there, thank you. Okay, uh, so Mr. L, uh, if you can join uh, Silva Crew. Yes. Okay, and your job is to sort out all shunting operations around Silva. Uh, so basically, first thing in the morning, uh, every time that interchange is being serviced, you need to first assemble heavy train that goes further down the road and distributes all the wagons to Bryson, Whittier, etc. Okay. Uh, so that's that's the first task of the day for for Silva operations. Uh, then you need to distribute all the cars uh, around Silva, so shunting, uh, local shunting. Uh, then you refuel your locomotive. Head to, uh, yeah, and wait at Whittier for heavy train to go back, because you need to act as a helper as well uh, to okay. pull things back to Silva. Uh, so basically, that's the cycle of your day. Uh, in the meantime, if you run out of work, uh, you can help moving a passenger train forward uh, because that needs pushing from station to station. So whoever's free can actually like operate that. You can do it manually. You can uh, you can just order AI to to do it for you. So basically, that is your daily routine in in Silva Group. 
so at this point, as it stands, uh, your locomotive is ARC3. And that's, that's your equipment. If you run out of fuel, uh, well, you better not. But if you run out of fuel, you can use passenger train if it's uh, nearby. Uh, to tow you to a nearby coaling station or to Dillsboro. Where's the nearest water town in Sylvia? Uh, there is only oh, one. There is water tower in Dillsboro, but there is no coaling tower uh, because I haven't built that yet. So you have to go all the way to Whittier to get some coal. Yeah. So right now, uh, as things stands when you joined, ARC3 is in progress of assembling heavy train. Uh, so you need to connect whatever there is with ARC3 to number 10. Uh, you also have pulpit cars to connect to all of that. And that's heavy train completed. So let me know when number 10 will be ready to go. And I'll take it up there. Okay, so those cars connecting with the pulp cars and then it's ready. Uh, so the cars that you have at, uh, at number 3 at the moment, you can push yes. them back towards number 10, which is at the end of the same sunny, uh, siding. Uh, just connect the glad hands and leave them with number 10. On top of that, you need to gather 10 uh, pulpit cars that are at paperboard and uh, whatever that is called. Oh, the, uh, and yes, tunnels, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so those 10 cars needs to go at the end of, of this train and then heavy train is ready at the moment because there's nothing else to take from Silva. One problem, I can't join the Sylvia group. Oh, uh, hang on. Uh, did I... I think I still haven't... Oh, yes. Uh, I still haven't changed your role. Uh, now you will be able to join uh, Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, hang on. Let me just check if you have your switch list set up. Oh yeah, I haven't updated your switch list. Okay. 
if you were ever get lost, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, I also updated your switch list. Uh, okay, so yeah, whatever yeah, shows see. there, you can always consult with it and, and check what you still need to do and what is already crossed out. Uh, Sam Houston, yes, uh, we are technically receiving some Arctic Blast uh, weather, but to be honest, whenever you hear in, in British television, yes, that there's going to be like massive disaster when it comes to winter periods, yes, and, and there's going to be tons of snow and, and like massive uh, national disaster, uh, remember that usually refers to about an inch of snow, yeah. Uh, for yeah, but this is much anywhere more stress free than in my single player safe uh, with six locomotives at uh, for for anywhere between like uh, 24 and 72 hours yeah so basically that that's the definition of natural disaster in the uk yes uh, you will have one inch of snow and the temperatures will go down to minus two minus three degrees uh, centigrade so yeah uh, coming from Poland, where we can have winter down to minus 20, uh, I, I, I don't seem to be impressed, really. Uh, yeah, I, I know it's much less stressful. <laughs> I know how stressful it is uh, when I'm trying to uh, manage all those four locomotives myself, and it's always like, oh, there's too much work. <laughs> yeah. Even me, if AI it's... is doing most of the work. Yeah, for me it's like, okay, manage this locomotive, jump to that, uh, set signal that. Oh no, forgot the passenger train. Yeah, I, I, I get that a lot. Uh, but yeah, I'm running open session every morning, uh, starting from 9am in the UK. Uh, so feel free if you want to join then, yeah. As long as I'm streaming Railroader you can be sure that the server is on and, and you can join. Alright, I will keep that in mind. Right, chat. Uh, the battle is ready, so while now I got help in Silva and I don't need to attend to this myself, uh, thanks to Mr. O, uh, I can focus on Spring Raiders. There we go. Look at this amazing crowd okay chat it's gonna be very difficult decision now because you guys decided to put your units in all four squares and i got only one spell to play yeah so instead of boosting our units which would be unfair i will place a curse on the enemies and I will curse those enemies so that they will get debuffed and, and this group will get slightly easier but in general it's gonna help our war effort uh, so yeah I, I guess I guess that's a good stuff so let's begin the battle Beautiful chat, beautiful, look at this. You guys are amazing. Look at this beautiful massacre. Okay, so, some of our brave units were attacking the boss, but the boss was kind of weird. I, I, I think the boss got confused which, which way to defend and obviously that didn't go well for them. Congratulations, everyone. That was an amazing victory. And now our army is good to be upgraded. And chat, the final battle of the day will be against the boss. Okay? Da boss. It's extreme boss. Okay? So chat, put your best units in there. 
because it's gonna be the last chance today to gain some epic loot yeah so don't don't waste that final opportunity give me the best army that you can assemble and let's let's kill that hmm. is it or orc warmaster or is it orc chieftain that that is a boss I, I'm always struggling to decide which one is the boss. I, I think it's going to be the chieftain at, at level 10. So let's let's get him sorted. Although there, there is another chieftain here. So I, I think it's going to be Warmaster at level 5. Why is it only level 5? It puzzles. Anyway. Chat, as always, I'm going to place this massive cannon. And the rest is on you, okay? Give me the best army you can build. Because it is going to be the last army you can build today. Right. Back to Ray Rhoda. Okay, so I gave up control over uh, ARC3. Uh, so that's one thing to do. Uh, we got... And number two, climbing up to Dillsboro, and then it's gonna go to Silva. We got number one at Whittier. Uh, speaking of number one, I need to get this thing going. Reverse five. Perfect. This is freshly refilled. I'm not worried. And that thing is going to Connolly Creek L1 and Connolly Creek L2. I came back. Welcome back. Okay, and just use the handbrake. Perfect. thing and this thing and I can quickly teleport over here okay and that is set for number one okay so this is done number two is climbing up and uh, let's have a look at this And what happened to number two? Number two needs to go road forward for five. I think I accidentally ordered it to stop. Uh, which is not ideal, but... It is what it is. Oh, but there is an ad break now. I, I completely forgot about this.
All right, welcome back, everyone. Apologies for that sudden ad break. I, I completely forgot to, to let you guys know that uh, Twitch is going to play those. Right, so uh, passenger train is now arriving at the Dillsboro station. Uh, Mr. L is about to finish assembling this uh, freight train. Just waiting for him to get everything done. ARC-10 will soon be ready. The heavy freight train is ready. Okay, good. You can now decouple from it. Uh, do you have space to... Yeah, you can... You can actually go through. Uh, so, if you want, you can head towards Dillsboro. Although there is a passenger train uh, heading between Dillsboro and Silva. Uh, yeah, so you I might need to wait... Yeah, you, you might need to wait at Silva for, for the train to actually get the platform. And then you can go and get some water. Uh, because if I remember correctly, your water tank was almost empty. I mean, I still have 452 gallons of water more than I need. Okay. It's it's up to you. Uh, obviously, just try to not run out because there might not be any locomotive nearby to help you. Okay. And how are you operating the signals? ATS or CTC? Uh, so, at this moment... Uh, since I don't have dedicated signaler, because there's no one to do it, uh, it goes in ATS. Okay. So I basically, so. whenever you so. change the switch, uh, AI will automatically change the signals, yeah. So uh, it... I think for now, um, switch to CDC... Um... It's for now, it's uh, just nonsense because slow count of players. Yeah, well, basically, we don't have that much traffic. Apart from passenger train, there is nothing running on the main line, really. A heavy train runs twice a day. And on top of that, yeah, because there's only three of us, uh, it would be hard to constantly sit down and, and do CTC. It's just a waste of time at the moment. Uh, but if the number of players will grow and there will be someone who is willing to constantly monitor that aspect, uh, then I will definitely get someone to, to signal on entire route. It might actually be good fun. I mean, I did enjoy it in my single-player world. Hmm. Does it work well when you have AIs running? Oh yeah, it this? works quite well. The only thing you have to set fuses for the passenger train. But other than that, the freight trains, you can just uh, let them go to the red board and when you are ready with the meat you can set the signals to proceed and they will go on their way soon yeah i can see how it can help the problem is we don't have that much traffic yet uh, i'm not sure how far you are with your save uh, but looking at six trains then yeah you, you probably have a little bit more than Bryson unlocked. Yeah, I I mean, I didn't have Sylvia unlocked, but I have the whole Akala branch and the bridge to Fontana. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I, I'm just working to expand in that direction, although... 
uh, this plan to... is temporarily on hold uh, because of lack of funds. Uh, at the uh, Russian community, not, uh, where I play sometimes, uh, we expand to Nantahala. Okay. Uh, Mr. L, route to Dillsboro is now open. Alright, I'm gonna throw the switch. Uh, should I throw it back that the passenger can follow me again? Uh, no, passenger will stay here for a few minutes. Uh, so you're free to sort out your stuff. Oh yeah, uh, also, uh, I will have to finish the stream somewhere in 30 minutes, because I need to go to work. Uh, so that also means that the server will go down. All right. Just to give both of you a heads up. go okay so uh, while this truck is not going to be occupied for a minute or two we can get arc through uh, arc2 to run around this train there we go and as i said we had some tickets uh, for Silva and at the end we received nearly $300. I think you dollars. dreaming uh, to get additional uh, weekend, yes, with uh, those uh, working days. Six uh, days working, uh, one uh, day weekend. <laughs> no, I, for now I'm fine. Yeah, I, I would love to have two days off, but you know, uh, I, without that I wouldn't be able to afford to pay the rent. Welcome to the world we live in. So, you know, uh, I, I'd rather be able to pay the rent than, than to have a day off. Well, Sam, uh, I would be able to say that if it would actually look good on payday. Uh, because I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not impressed on payday, even though I work overtime each and every week. It used to be different. Uh, in the past it used to like really look impressive yes you, you did some overtime you got some extra money to, to spend and and those were really extra money that you could put forward towards I don't know getting something nice or going for a vacation once a year or something right now I, I haven't been on a vacation for past three years because I, I just can't afford it uh, recently, my friend invited me for a short vacation, like literally two days off. And I really need to, like, budget heavily to get that sorted, because I can't afford to go for two days fucking off. It's ridiculous how low salaries became compared to rents in this country. And it used to be completely different.
on top of that yeah electricity prices that that pretty much doubled in in past two years and i i don't remember my salary going double up uh, that 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 never happened actually it went down because i had to change the job and the new job that i got pays less than the previous one so woohoo that that's a success Yeah, because rents are not regulated, so landlords can charge whatever they want. And since UK is not building new houses, and there is no new stock showing up, everything goes up. So it's artificially inflated. And it only hurts the economy, because then, if I can't spend my money on goods, because I have to spend it on rent, then obviously that, that's not helping anyone. And the funny thing is that large part of that rent is being spent by landlord to cover the mortgage because he's also probably paying up for uh, for that flat or house because I, I can guarantee you that most of the people don't fully own that stuff they just got mortgage and they are trying to make extra few pounds pounds on top of what they pay in mortgage and since mortgages are uh, going up, then the rents are going up because banks can also increase the mortgages in the middle of of the mortgage, which is ridiculous. That shouldn't be legal. If you took a mortgage on 2% at the beginning, it should be for the whole time. It shouldn't be allowed for banks to adjust your mortgage payments up and down because it, it's absolutely ridiculous. Their costs aren't changing, in fact. It's just a massive lie. Uh, same goes to standing charges. I, I do not agree with them being present. You're basically paying for nothing. And that's 50p a day. I think now it's over 50p a day. That you pay just, just for being able to be connected to the grid. Which is ridiculous. And when something breaks down, you can't even reach uh, the helpline uh, with with the electricity company. They they just cut uh, cut off the helplines and they claim, oh yeah, we got so many calls that we can't speak with you right now. So why am I paying for this? It, it's ridiculous. Oh, did you already throw the switch at this, bro? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hang on, uh, did I actually change this? <laughs> ah, yes, uh, I, I, I thrown it for some reason. Hang on. Uh, hang on, hang on. Let me just double check. Is, hmm. is the second track still being operated by a passenger train? That, uh, that is a good question. I think it should be. Uh, uh, let me just double check it uh, before I send a passenger train. Uh, yes. Oh, the, it will be serviced. Okay, so I am sending a passenger train now. passenger train has arrived, I would do some shunting and take one car with me back to Sylvia. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Or, yeah, yeah, uh, just do that. to argue with electronic voices uh, when asking for help because my options don't meet my needs. Uh, yeah, th that's another thing. They 
they are not supposed to meet your needs. It's another big massive middle finger towards customers because it's legal in the UK for some reason. It's, ah. it's ridiculous how bad it has become over past decades. Like when I moved to UK it was far better. Things were actually working. Uh, you could rely on... Well, public transport was always terrible, so th that was unreliable even 10 years ago. Uh, but trains were running, so if you had to take a train somewhere, it was working. If you had to go to the hospital or visit your doctor, guess what? You could get an appointment, and it was working. Right now, nothing worked. Absolutely nothing worked. Uh, if you wanted to rent a flat, a room, or a house, there weren't any, like, re ridiculous arguments at, at the viewings or something. You didn't have a group viewing. You arranged a viewing to, to see a flat that you want to rent, and the landlord could attend and, and see you individually, uh, get to meet you. Uh, you could eventually ask questions and, and get them answered. You didn't have to rush things or then bargain uh, whether you want to like pay some extra rent on top in order to even have a roof over your head. It, it, it's ridiculous how, how bad it became. Those things weren't happening 10 years ago. And right now, this is pretty much standard. Seriously? Nah, I, I wouldn't even pay for that. That should be illegal practice. You almost have enough boobs to do a silly. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what you want to do. And I'm not sure if I want to know what you want to do. Might want to save it for tomorrow then. Oh yes, so you will have to do it tomorrow then. Because I will wrap the stream in about 10, maybe 20 minutes. Okay, that is Wilmot Station. Uh, no, that. I don't know if you'll be there. Oh no! So you will have to wait for another opportunity to use it. What now? Oh. Well, you can always spend it on, on like a tomato or something. Okay, I, I think the passenger train is now ready. Oh yes, it is ready. It is more than ready. <laughs> there are still two passengers left. And I can't fit anymore. The train is full. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, let me just... Then, then you guess you have to say for silly or silly. Oh, so you haven't reached the sillier silly yet. Oh, okay. I, I think I know which silly you, you, you are safe for. Okay. Yeah, you actually spilled the beans. Oh, 
right chat. Uh, let me just select this one. Okay, there's no breaks. We got enough coal, we got enough water. So very soon I will have to get this thing moving. I'll just wait for number three to go past me, which should give number two enough time to reach Wilmot. Which is also a good idea. Because then number 10 can just go without stopping all the way to Whittier. And that's where I need it to be. I can now throw some switches, get things prepared. Throw this switch. This switch. Perfect. Double check number two and its orders. You can increase the speed to 45. Because I need that passenger train to escape. And Barker's is perfect spot to just fly through it. Uh, okay, Tankis is at uh, Connolly Creek. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay. And we are almost ready to depart. 29 cars to be delivered. C10 is now departing.
There we go. Perfect. Right, chat, the battle is ready. Look at this, chat. I asked you for massive army and you delivered. That is truly amazing. Let me just boost the defenses of, of those units and let the battle commence. Ah, oh, this orc stood no chance. <laughs> That was amazing. Oh, our rogues just died on Orc Warriors. Yeah, enemy definitely mounted rather overwhelming force here. There we go. We defeated that Orc. And now we are going after the War Master. Oh, it is falling really quick. Damn. That took absolutely no time. Chat, as always, I am more than impressed. Okay. This was an absolutely amazing adventure. And we shall continue tomorrow with some more Stream Raiders. That was absolutely amazing. Also, in one minute, there's going to be an ad break. Uh, so, uh, let's wrap it up quickly. Uh, chat. Everyone who joined me for Stream Raiders, thank you very much. That's it for today when it comes to Stream Raiders. If you want to stay in and continue uh, watching the end of Railroader part, uh, then uh, please stay with me. Uh, don't forget to drop me a follow. And, well... Uh, whoever was here for just for stream raiders uh, thanks very much and yeah uh, and let's just carry on with ray roader yeah there we go <laughs> i guess i'm just lost for words you guys are just amazing you you just you are just too amazing that's it right 10 seconds until the beginning of the ads and and then i'll be back with you in uh well af after the ads There we go. Welcome back, everyone. Our passenger train just reached. Wilmot. And I will soon send it towards Whittier. The timing is perfect. Because Tankis is just getting back to Whittier. From whatever he was doing. 
So both trains will pretty much meet somewhere there. There we go. 60, 60, 60. We can delete that. This train doesn't need to stay here for any longer. There we go. Now I need to go to Whittier itself. And get things sorted. So this train needs to fly through it. And as soon as passenger train goes through it. A freight train will arrive. Okay, so that's sorted. Oh, that was already preset by Tankist. Perfect. Far. There we go. Okay, so that is a passenger train. And then I need to prepare... Okay, this one is prepared. Perfect. I want to get in with the freight train onto this truck. That is perfect. So I'm just waiting for passenger train to go through this junction. I can throw it. And then the freight train, which is currently going through Kowi, will arrive at Whittier. And the moment that freight train arrives at Whittier is the moment we will wrap up the stream. So there's still about 10 minutes, probably. Yeah, there should be about 10 minutes. Uh, Alright guys, uh, we will be wrapping up in about 10 minutes. Uh, which is as soon as number 10 gets to Whittier. Now I get cool shades. Ah, Trimi. Uh, and, and, and he he just shaved my tash. Ah, oh, he's very he's very mean to me today. Uh, I said that ten minutes ago. Well, yeah, I I, I said many things ten minutes ago. <laughs> uh, but I also mentioned that I will be wrapping up the stream around that time. Yes, uh, it's it's not always said exactly when things will happen. Uh, but yes, around this time, it is always the time that I'm slowly wrapping things up. Uh, so now you know the exact time. And that is number 10 getting onto Whittier siding. I'm teasing you. I know, people are always teasing. You. There we go. Tank is already parked ARC1 out of the way. Perfect. Uh, we can. Isolate that switch. I can isolate that switch. Perfect. And I get a head pad. Woo! Nice, nice. Okay. Number 10 just passed Koei, heading to Barkers. Number 2 is about to go past with you. Let's teleport to number 10. Look at this beautiful freight train. In fact, I might take this opportunity to grab some nice screenshots. There we go. Yeah, 
beautiful. There we go. We got some more nice screenshots. Uh, perhaps we can go to our interchange. Grab some nice screenshot there. Yeah, there we go. Passenger train should be here any minute now. Beautiful. Okay, so now I can set things up for the freight train. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot we need to go, we need to set things so that it goes through, at least until, oh that, that won't go through until the uh, train gets to Whittier. Yeah, when number two gets to the station, it should open. Or maybe... other way so I can oh okay I switch I see so that's the, that's the reason why it never changed okay now it now it works ARC2 Okay, so I need to wait for the freight train to pass this signal before I can change the switch. It's a bit ridiculous way to arrange things, but it is what it is. Uh, number two is at Whittier. It might actually make it to Ela. Uh, because number 10 is currently heading from Barkis to Wilmot. Uh, right, I, I I don't need that fusee. I will just throw the switch. Uh, just uh, in case. When... Nah, don't worry. Don't worry, we'll catch it. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna just stop right here. Alright, I think I will head out for now. I think you're also gonna wrap it up pretty soon, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm about to wrap it up uh, when number 10 gets to it here, so it's maybe like five minutes stop. Uh, so right. thank you for joining me today. It was good thanks. to have you here. Uh, thanks for all the help. And yeah, uh, feel free to join me in tomorrow if you want. Yeah, uh, I will see you be. Next time. Yeah, I will be in at the same time. So yeah, see you next time. Okay, so we have all that, all that, perfect. Passenger train just. Gone. Yeah, there's only passengers waiting for Silva and Dillsboro. Uh, Mr. L just disconnected. Uh, okay. What's going on at Silva? Let's let's double check where where things are. Okay. I'm not sure what was he trying to do. Did we actually put anything at, at the interchange? No, there are no cars at the interchange yet. Okay. I can do is drive in here, connect to those, push them a little bit uh, so that I can pull in whatever I'm having on the hook, push that out from the other side and then pull it into uh, to Silva where we can just start setting things out. Okay, perfect. In the meantime, number two is making its way to Ila, and number ten is just passing Wilmot. There we go. We are not far away from the finish line. situation okay uh, so before we go to Bryson I will definitely have to put some water in I don't really need any coal and I don't want to use any coal at Whitbear that would be a massive waste I got full coal in station at Bryson that has more than enough coal for number 10 that thing thinks that it takes 11 tons.
we go. Beautiful. Passenger train actually made it to Ila. And that's where it's gonna stay. At least for now. I will get that sorted tomorrow morning. Okay, we are about to pass that signal, which is exactly the one that we are looking for. go we passed the signal which means that i can now throw that switch and i need to throw that switch so i want the train to stop at well in front of it and this siding should be long enough Vai dure pro Terozo Vingersko yti toyu diviziyu. What? I'm just shocked by how uh, uh, much wagons uh, you delivering to me. About 25. Kika sibe. Kaza ga sibe. Okay, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what AI is doing right now. Why? Why did it stop? They really need to fix that. Or in fact, you know what? I, I'm gonna change the settings for... Uh, features breaking force low. I can't have AI. Stop in this manner. Okay, with low braking force, I think AI seems to be doing better.
just a little bit better. It's still doing that weird thing where it's trying to do that perfect stop and look at this. It is just creeping up even though entire train is fully on the siding and, and we could just stop the train but AI is trying to do its own thing. There we go, I, I still missed a whistle. Anyway, right. Chat. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between. We have made it to the end of today's stream. Thank you very much for watching me. If you like this, drop me a follow if, if you are watching me on, on Twitch. Uh, don't forget to join my Discord server. You can find links under the player. And I know it works because someone actually connected today. And if you are watching this on YouTube after it was published, and at some point it will, then don't forget to subscribe. Also, yeah, join the join the Discord. Links will be in the description down below. And perhaps uh, you might want to watch this stuff live. Uh, there should be a link to my Twitch channel and, and you can join that every morning at 9 o'clock. Right, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Uh, thank you for all the messages in the chat. That really, really helps to run this stream and make it more interesting. I really love to, to chat with all of you. Uh, thank you for everyone who decided to join me in the game. Uh, because this is an open session and everyone can join. Uh, the instructions are on my Discord server. And yeah, that's it. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.